very good morning to all the students of class plus 1b yes beta we are doing chapter mothers day so this chapter is actually written in the form of the play already discussed with you because dialogues are there fine characters are there so it's it's written in the form of a play let me introduce the characters once again those who have joined today and were absent yesterday for them i'm repeating please make sure you listen carefully so if i ask any one of you to unmute yourself you have to give answer whether you know it or no if you do not know the answer even then you have to say no okay otherwise you will be marked absent make sure so characters are n pearson mrs wijerald doris pearson cyril pearson and george pearson now you will be telling me who is n pearson and who is mrs wijerald yes harnood tell me jaldi jaldi say ma'am i haven't attended the class yesterday you have not attended the class yesterday okay so harnoor was absent uh, she was absent yesterday let me ask jacqueline yes to tell jaldi se bataiye about mrs pearson and mrs wijerald thoda sa gist dena hai one one line mein jaldi se jacqueline are you there Mrs. Pearson is a polite and submissive character, and Mrs. Fitzgerald is a dominant and bold character. Yes. So, uh, okay. So you paid attention. That's good. And Mrs. Anne Pearson and Mrs. Fitzgerald both are friends and neighbors. Fine. They are neighbors also and friends also. Clear. So Ann Pearson, sorry, am I audible, beta? Mrs. Ann Pearson is a very submissive, soft-hearted character who loves to serve the family. Mrs. Fitzgerald is quite opposite to nature of Mrs. Ann Pearson. Mrs. Fitzgerald is very bold and dominant and getting the things the way she wants. She smokes cigarettes and she drinks uh, also, and uh, she is into tarot card reading. She tells future. She's fortune teller. Fine, Mrs. Fitzgerald and Mrs. Ann Pearson. She is very submissive. She has this family. This family belongs to Ann Pearson. Doris Pearson is daughter. Fine, and Cyril Pearson is son. Here, George Pearson is husband uh, of Mrs. Ann Pearson. Clear. So Doris, Cyril, and George. They all three live their own life at their own terms. When they come back home, they give orders to Mrs. Pearson. They keep on asking for their things to be done at well in time. And uh, Mrs. Ann Pearson, she keeps on listening to the orders and she keeps on fulfilling them. Even then, they never asked her out. They never asked her that you should also go out. You should also change uh, the way we are doing. Fine. So both, uh, all three of them are into their own lives, but they never bother about Mrs. Ann Pearson. clear but mrs fitzgerald being good friend and neighbor of mrs pearson she suggested her that you should take a stand for yourself put your foot down otherwise they are going to crush you under their feet you should take a stand but ann pearson is not at all ready because she doesn't want any sort of fight any sort of uh, you can say uh, clash in the family so she is very humble she is very scared lady so that's why she's letting the things go the way they are going so mrs fitzgerald suggests sir that let's exchange personalities she uh, you know holds hand of mrs pearson in her hands she enchants one mantra and then exchange of personality happens so this is fiction obviously but this as uh, is they have uh, writer has taken this as part of the chapter to take teach other members of the family a lesson so now after exchanging personality mrs fitzgerald who was earlier bold and loud she becomes very soft spoken uh, very scared and submissive and mrs ann pearson who was otherwise she was very submissive she becomes quite loud and you, you can say the person who wants the things to be done according to his own her his or her own wish so ann pearson becomes dominant loud she started taking stand against uh, the people who were against her fine so she is going to now talk to her family members in a different way so this is going to be but family members do not know anything about the personality exchange but they just see the change of behavior what will be their reaction 
we will be reading so that's the theme of the chapter is importance of mothers in the family find that we take mothers for granted they are working 24/7 for us but we never pay any heed towards them we never feel gratitude towards their work we never respect them all the time they do something for us rather than being thankful we try to find fault in their work fine so if mother is working 24/7 we are going out for work we should also think that work should be divided between members of the family or among us the family members so that is the main theme of this chapter importance of mothers in the household work in the family how household work should be divided how one one's mother should be every day is mother day you you in just i can say that every day is mother's day fine so is it all clear all the characters and the theme i'll, I'll be sharing the screen with you all yes beta tell me sabko clear hai jaldi se send me thumbs up quickly जो बच्चों ने आज ज्वाइन करा है कल एबसेंट है हरनूर इज इट क्लियर फाइन सो प्लीज डू अटेंड द क्लासेस अदरवाइज मुश्किल हो जाएगी बाद में खुद रीडिंग करोगे मेनी पॉइंट्स यू मे मिस द वे वी रीड दैट इज डिफरेंट प्लीज नमनप्रीत यू ज्वाइन लेट कल से ऐसे नहीं होना चाहिए ओके नमनप्रीत आई यू लिस्निंग रिस्पॉन्ड मी अकॉर्डिंगली नमनप्रीत इफ यू आर नॉट रिस्पॉन्डिंग आई वॉन्ट बी मेकिंग यू मार्क प्रेजेंट Are you there, Namanpreet Singh? No, he's not there. So Diljit, who is taking gauge of the attendance on regular basis, make sure that we write name of Namanpreet in absentees. जो बच्चे रिस्पॉन्ड नहीं करेंगे वो एब्सेंट हैं. Make sure. चलिए. Mrs. Pearson, don't be silly. Um, now what is happening, beta? Ab scene a chuka hai when Doris, daughter of Mrs. Uh, Pearson, she has come back home. ठीक है वो अपने काम से घर पे आई है and she is shouting on her mother that have you ironed my yellow silk dress and have you prepared my tea? And mother is giving the good answer back to her and Doris is startled, astonished, shocked to see what has happened to my mother. कि ऐसे कैसे मेरे को बोल रही आगे तो मेरी mother बहुत समझती थी. how she is you know first shocking thing was when doris returns home she saw her mother smoking and drinking so when while smoking she asked her do you smoke she said so what's different in that so then doris says i thought you never smoked i i i do then doris you know now the conversation is going on let's continue mrs pearson don't be silly doris indignantly means unris in a very you know harsh way doris responds it's not me that's being silly and i must say it's bit much when i have been working hard all day and you can't even bother to get my tea ready did you hear what i said about my yellow silk so a daughter apni mother ki oh aise bol rahi hai you can very well imagine so doris is yelling at her mother because she is in habit of doing this because mother was listening to it otherwise so doris is yelling at her mother mrs pearson that you are silly you know she is calling her mother silly actually so you have not prepared my tea i have been working very hard throughout the work throughout the day and you have not ironed my clothes also because raat ko mujhe party pe jana hai and you need to iron my clothes also mrs pearson says no don't you like it now i never did of course i like it and i'm going to wear it tonight so i want it ironed want it ironed what do you think it's going to do iron itself mrs pearson kehti hai apne aap ironing ho jayegi teri dress ki do it for yourself i'm not going to do it for you No, you are going to iron it for me. You always do. Well, this time I don't, and I don't talk rubbish to me about working hard. I have a good idea. How much you do, Doris Pearson? I put in twice the hours you do, and get no wages, no thanks for it. Why are you doing to wear? Why are you going to wear your yellow silk? Where are you going? So Mrs. Pearson says that you says you say that you work hard throughout the day. What about me? I work twenty four seven. मैं तो डबल आवर्स लगाती हूँ तुमसे ज्यादा घर पे काम करके बट नाइदर आई आई एम गेटिंग थैंक्स फ्रॉम योर साइड नॉर आई एम गेटिंग एनी वेजेस फ्रॉम यू पीपल सो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू डू एनी वर्क नाउ तो व्हाई डू यू वांट टू वेयर आगे कभी मदर ने क्वेश्चन ही नहीं किया था अपनी बेटी को दैट व्हाई शी इज वेयरिंग दिस वेयर शी इज गोइंग नाउ शी आर दैट व्हाई यू आर गोइंग टू वेयर येलो सिल्क वेयर आर यू गोइंग डॉर इज आउट विद चार्ली स्पेंस सो दिस चार्ली स्पेंस इज यू कैन से बॉयफ्रेंड ऑफ डॉरिस एंड शी इज टेलिंग अबाउट चार्ली टू हर मदर नाउ and mother knows it uh, knows about it but you know this is the foreign culture it's quite common over there mrs pearson says why 
Doris, why? What's the matter with you? Why shouldn't I go with, uh, out with Charlie Spence? If he asks me and I want to, any objections? Go on, you might as well tell me. So Doris says, any objection to her mother? That, do you have any objection if I'm going out with Charlie Spence? Now, Mrs. Pearson is going to make fun of Charlie Spence also. She says, she's just giving every, you can say, single second she's spending to, you know, irritate her daughter. Can't you find anybody better? I wouldn't be seen dead with Charlie Spence. Buck teeth and half witted. So please underline this line. She's calling Charlie Spence, friend of her daughter, with half witted. Witted means better intelligence. She's saying that uski to akal bhi nahi hai. she's uh, lagging here and buck teeth. The way he when he smiles, his teeth are bugged. You know, he doesn't look bugged teeth and a half-witted personality. And aise logo ke saath main bhi na kabhi jau. And you are dating that guy. Doris gets so irritated. He is not Mrs. Pearson. When I was of your age, I would have found somebody better than Charlie Spence or given myself up as a bad job. The otherwise, though, I would not have taken this boy out for date. So Mrs. Pearson is giving example of herself. Doris says, now nearly in DSC. Suddenly, this daughter is in tears, who was yelling at her mother. When she saw her mother is rebuking her, talking harshly to her, then she is in tears. Oh, shut up. Doris runs out left. Mrs. Pearson chuckles and begins putting her cards together, you know. After a moment, Cyril Pearson enters left. He's the masculine counterpart of Doris. Please underline this. Now, Doris ko to rula diya, uski mother ne buri tarah se by commenting about, by not preparing tea, by not pre ironing her yellow silk dress, by calling her friend Charlie Spence bugged teeth and half-witted personality. And that's why daughter started crying and she ran into her room. Now the entry of third character, beta, fourth character, sorry, Cyril Pearson, ye son hai uska, Mrs. Pearson ka beta. Now he's coming, again, he's also ill-mannered boy who's going to talk harshly to her, his mother and he's masculine counterpart of Doris. So means his face looks like Doris only and he's boy. See, Cyril, briskly. Hello, mom, tea ready? Enter karte hi, dekho, order start ho jate inke. Because unko tea leni hai, kapde change karne aur chale jana ghar ke baar. They never bother about mother. Mrs. Pearson, no. Moving to the table, annoyed. Why not? I couldn't bother, mother said. Feeling off color or something? Feeling off color means are you not feeling well or you are out of your head or something like that? Never felt better in my life. Mrs. Pearson said, no, I am not feeling off color. I am absolutely fine. Balki I have never felt so good in life. I am feeling so good aggressively then. What's the idea then? Just a change. Well, snap out of it, man. Get cracking. Haven't too much time. Kata, mere paas time nahi hai. Come on, get up. Prepare my tea. She's just, he's giving instructions to his mother again. Cyril is about to go when Mrs. Pearson's voice checks him. She says, I have plenty of time. Yes. Mrs. Pearson gets the end. Okay, the time nahi hai. Jaldi banao, jaldi karo. Chalo, quick, quick. Time nahi hai. Mrs. Pearson gets the end. Haan, mere paas to bohat zyada time hai. Yes, but mere paas nahi hai. I don't have time. Got a busy night tonight, you know. Moving left to the door. Did you put my things out? See. Same thing, boy is also asking for. Have you put my things out? Are they toddlers? Doris and Cyril. Are they toddlers? That they are not uh, they are not extracting their clothes out of the Almira, they're not ironing it fine. Actually, parents keep guilty. They keep on pampering their kids to that level that kids start taking them for granted. And they never scold them. You know, they never when you are wrong you should get scolding. If you will not get scolding, you will take it for granted. You are going to take it very easily. If you don't teacher, bhi scold na kare, parents, bhi scold na kare, aap galti ho bhi galti karte jau, that will be the end of your life. Then you're not going to be, you know, an improved personality. You will stuck to one place. Because you think what I'm thinking, that is fine. No, it's not like that. When we are wrong, we should get scolding. We should get, you know, a bit of scolding and annoyance from our parents' side also. So, Mrs. Pearson can't remember, but I doubt it. Moving to the table protesting now. Look, when I asked you this morning, 
you promised, you said uh, you would have to look through them first in case there was any mending. So you said that if any mending is required, if any change is required, I will do. Have you put my things out or not? Yes. Well, now I have decided I don't like mending. Okay. Uh, now I'm deciding. Mujhe nahi karna kuch bhi thi. I don't want to mend anything. That's a nice way to talk. What would happen if we all talk like that? So we get the message. We all talk like that. Mother says. You all do talk like that. Mother says. You all do talk like that. If there is something at home you don't want to do, you don't do it. If it's something at your work, you get the union to borrow it. Now, all that's happened is that I have joined the movement. Now, please try to understand this paragraph. Mother says, "My dear son Cyril, आप ऐसे ही बात करते हो. You all do talk like that only. If there is something at home you don't want to do, you don't do it. Fine. अगर आपके काम पे भी ऐसे हो जाए कि आपको कुछ नहीं करना है तो ऐसे करोगे क्या? At home, you say I don't want to do this, so I have joined the movement. I have also this movement. I have not done that. Even I will not do anything. I don't get this, mom. What's going on? Iconic and sinister changes. You know, in a very sinister. This is the way Mrs. Fitzgerald speaks. Actually, in a very sinister way, she's saying changes. She is in the process of dressing and is now wearing a wrap. She looks pale and red. Now see. Doris, who was in her room, ran away. She is crying. She had been crying, but now she is not. She is in process of dressing. She has put her wrap dress on because she is going to change. She is very dull, red-eyed, crying. Mrs. Pearson, then she comes out and stops. Mrs. Pearson says, "You look terrible. I wouldn't wear that face even for Charlie Spence." Now, baby, you are crying, mother. Mother is after the life of her daughter now. She says, "Now, baby, you are terrible. You are crying." Doris, you look terrible. I wouldn't wear. कहती है ऐसी शकल तो मैं Charlie Spence के लिए भी न रखूं. That you are going to meet that boy again. She is teasing her. Moving about the table angrily. You shut up about Charlie Spence and Harry. How I am not ready yet. Just dressing. This is the answer given by Doris to her mother. The way she speaks. And if I do look terrible, it's your fault. You made me cry. Cyril भी देखता है कि उसकी बहन रो रही है and she is again fighting with mother and. Why? What did she do? फिर वो आपस में बात कर रहे हैं. Doris, never you mind. Mrs. Pearson, rising and preparing to move to the kitchen. Have we any stout left? I can't remember. Now, what is stout, बेटा? Stout is uh, drinks जो आपकी uh, जैसे bottles, uh, whiskey and all that stuff. So uh, she asked for stout. कि I can't remember stout पड़ी bottle or two I think. What do you want? You don't want stout now, Cyril says. आप को नहीं चाहिए stout, Mrs. Pearson. I do. What for? To drink? You clot? You clot me, you stupid boy. Mrs. Pearson exits. Exits right instantly. Cyril and Doris are in a huddle, close together. Mrs. Pearson जैसे ही जाती है अपना stout लेने और दोनों you know brother and sister, both siblings, they got time to talk. Now they talk about they talk they're talking to each other. So are you liking this chapter? How many of you? Jaldi se beech beech mein I'm taking your response. This is the reality of uh, even Indian families, you know, ki hum bahut taken for granted le lete hain parents ko. You know, we start taking our mothers and fathers so casually. We never, you know, hume tab tak nahi samajh mein aati hai. जब तक कि यू नो सपोज योर मदर इज गोइंग अवे फ्रॉम यू फॉर टू डेज थ्री डेज एंड यू विल रियलाइज हाउ डिफिकल्ट इट इज टू सर्वाइव विदाउट दैम यू नो इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू सर्वाइव विदाउट पेरेंट्स एंड द पर्सन यू आर डिपेंडेंट अपॉन अदरवाइज वी टेक दैम फॉर ग्रांटेड और हम किसको इम्पोर्टेंट समझते हैं द पीपल यू नो वी स्टार्ट इवन ट्रस्टिंग द स्ट्रेंजर्स समटाइम दिस इज द एज बिकॉज यू आर टीन एजर्स यू आर इन प्लस वन आई कैन टॉक ओपनली टू यू That we are teenagers, we start, you know, depending upon the people. <laughs> yes, Ramanjit Singh, that's good. No, ma'am, Indian mothers are not that kind. Yes, we know Indian mothers are like the too over caring also, beta. But at the same time, like especially Punjabi mothers, आप देखो वो आपको खिलाने के पीछे ही please खालो extra खालो खालो खालो. This is this is a common phrase in even every Punjabi family. कि you know मेरा बच्चा खाता ही नहीं है इसको खिलाओ कैसे खिलाना है. The more they eat. the more happier the mothers become rather than quantity you know they they concentrate upon quantity in punjab not quality 
ठीक है घी डाल डाल के यू नो लेटर ऑन लेटर ऑन स्टेजेस यस वी रिक्वायर सच थिंग एलिमेंट इन गियर ऑफ बट लेटर स्टेजेस दैट कैन बी प्रॉब्लमेटिक आल्सो बट वी यू नो कंसंट्रेट ऑन सच थिंग्स आई एम नॉट सेइंग दैट दैट्स बैड बट टू सम एक्सटेंड सम ओवर पंजाब में भी हम ओवर पेंपरिंग बच्चों को करते हैं यू एग्री और नॉट वी यू नो वी हैव मेड आवर चिल्ड्रन सो डिपेंडेंट अपॉन अस you know why do you love your mother the most why do you love your parents the most why let me tell you because we are so much dependent upon them economically socially emotionally har cheez ke liye hum apne parents pe dependent hain and then the more you are dependent upon a person the more you love the person abhi aapke parents aapko paise dena band kar de aapki tuitions hata de aapko pamper karna band kar de suddenly you will say what has happened you will also your love also will change so it means it is like that only if they are giving you so much without uh, you know asking anything in return what they just need is they need your time fine hamare paas hum kehte time nahi hai time nahi hai mama baat nahi karne ka time hai mere se baat baad mein baat karna mere paas time nahi when you are going to get time tuitions ke liye time hai social media ke liye time hai friends ke liye time hai sab cheez ka time rakho but parents ke liye bhi time rakho you just you know uh, daily why why mother is preparing tea always you also go to the kitchen mama aaj main chai banata hu ya main chai banati hu fine you can also go out uh, you can say today you will not prepare the dinner mother we all are going to do you along with your father or sibling or brother or sister or all alone whosoever is there in the family you can prepare meal for your mother you can order from outside also you give a change to your mother fine in even father and it's not about mothers day i'm just talking about parents as a whole whosoever is in their family give them you see how busy their schedule is how they working harder whether they are house makers i will not use the word uh, uh housewife no house makers they are actually they are living at home working together 24/7 without any return we should do something for them it's not one day ki chalo mothers day ho gaya that's it no every day is mothers day every day they working hard fine so it's our responsibility towards our parents at least disrespect mat karo you know aap usse wo kuch expect nahi karte hain aapke parents you just follow the, this golden rule never disrespect your parents ever in your life fine and be grateful be respectful towards them nobody can stop you to achieve success koi fayda nahi mandir ki ghanti bajane ka koi fayda nahi hai aapko idhar udhar jaane ka unless and until you do not have manners चाहे अब सब में हम सब में हम सब में प्रॉब्लम है नॉट सेइंग दैट आई एम सो गुड वी ऑल आर हैविंग यू नो लैक ऑफ पेशेंस इज देयर सो प्लीज स्पेंड क्वालिटी टाइम विद योर पेरेंट्स शायद दिन में 10 मिनट ही स्पेंड करो 5 मिनट करो 1 घंटा करो दैट्स अप टू योर शेड्यूल स्पेंड क्वालिटी टाइम विद योर पेरेंट्स टॉक टू देम पोर योर हार्ट आउट रादर देन टॉकिंग योर पर्सनल थिंग्स टू योर फ्रेंड्स टॉक टू योर पेरेंट्स सी हाउ लविंग दे विल बी दे विल नॉट जज यू बाहर के लोग तो आपको जज करेंगे this person baad mein aapko mazak udayenge when you talk but parents will never judge you you know your mothers are not going to judge you so that's why mothers are considered equivalent to god e- equivalent fine so please give shower your love towards your mother after you know reading this lesson i have seen a change so ye permanent change aap mein bhi aane wala hai by the end of this chapter definitely let's continue Uh, for what beat us for what uh, raman they never beat without any reason if uh, you were beaten up uh, as a child and there might be some reason koi baat nahi that is a sweet uh, scolding actually that is also in your favor to aapko improve karne ke liye wo beating and all scolding and all chalti hai slapping also sometimes so doris well she suddenly all different and that's what made me cry it wasn't what she said wo aapas mein siblings baat kar rahe hain wo keh rahi hai ki you know that mother is changed she was smoking she was playing cards when i came i couldn't believe siril kehta i asked her that are you feeling off color and she said no mai to bilkul theek hu well she suddenly all different and you know it wasn't what she said but the way she said it now see अब अब डॉटर को लग रहा है इट वाज नॉट व्हाट शी सेड बट द वे शी सेड इट और अपना वे पता नहीं है डॉटर को द वे शी टॉक्स टू हर फाइन सिरिल हैवन नोटिस दैट शी जस्ट लुक्स सेम टू मी शी डजंट टू मी डू यू थिंक शी कुड हैव हिट हर हेड और समथिंग यू नो एंड गॉड व्हाट इज इट यू नो डोरिस इज थिंकिंग 
कहते कहीं सिर पे कुछ मदर के लग तो नहीं गया हाउ शी इज चेंज ओवर नाइट यू नो नो यू यू फैट हेड यू नो कंकशन शी माइट हैव मींस हियर फैट हेड मेयर मींस दिमाग नहीं है व्हाई व्हाई टॉकिंग लाइक दैट सो डू यू मीन शी इज बारमी बारमी अगेन मींस क्रेजी पर्सन यू कैन से अ पर्सन हु डजंट हैव यू नो सेंस सो ही सेस सो डू यू मीन शी इज बारमी शी इज क्रेजी there is no you fat head uh, you know concussion she might have uh, you know sometimes it happens to people so sidel says sounds far fetched well she's far fetched if you ask me now then what is it if she's going to be like this when dad comes home doris kehti hai ab dekhte hain jab father ghar pe aata hai tab pata lagega mamma ko means they are thinking that we are not able to stand in front of the mother but definitely when our father george pearson will come back home tab dekhte hain mother kya karti hai they are you know, giggling and goofing means they are laughing and cracking jokes out of it ki father ka reaction dekhte hain i'm staying in for that two front dress circles for the first house so wo kehte main to cyril kehta hai ki main to dekhta hu kya hota hai mrs pearson enters right carrying a bottle of stout and a half filled glass Cyril and Doris try to stop their goofing and giggling, but they are not quick enough. Mrs. Pearson regards them with contempt. Mrs. Pearson notices them that they are giggling, they are laughing, they are making fun. She scolds them, and she is drinking, having the bottle of stout in her hand. Mrs. Pearson, you, you two are always talking about being grown up. Why don't you both try for once to be your age? ये तो मुझे तो कहते हो grow up की age क्यों ना ची अपनी बात करो पहले. Why don't you both grow up? and she sits and starts drinking can't we laugh now sirul kehta hans bhi nahi sakte ab yes if it's funny go on tell me make me laugh i proudly uh, i uh, could do it with you i could do it uh, i could do with it so mrs pearson kehti if something funny is going on you're laughing tell me also i will also laugh with you you know you never understand our jokes mom dori sage se kehti you can never understand our jokes so she's drinking and she's conversing with the children and the bell has gone and we cannot continue today so this is very interesting chapter we will continue those who have joined today it is compulsory beta please do attend tomorrow too because fir samajh mein nahi aayega baat mein okay have a nice day beta